Zara throws a ball at a speed of 10 metres per second at an angle alpha to the horizontal and it just misses the ceiling of the sports hall which is 4 metres high. Find the horizontal range of the ball given that she just misses the ceiling. Okay, first thing we need to do is draw a graph of the situation. So we draw a set of axes x and y, what this being positive. Initial velocity of 10 meters per second at some angle alpha. And here is the parabola. The gravity acting downwards against it, minus 9.8, downwards direction. The height here is 4, because that's the height of the ceiling. We're going to assume there's no air resistance and we're going to ignore the width of the, of, of the ball as well. At the uh, maximum point here, the y component of the velocity is equal to zero, and this will be the range that we have to calculate. So what we need to do is find this angle and the range. So setting up the equations of motion for velocity, we use v is equal to u plus at, so we've got 10, so the but the horizontal velocity will be 10 cos alpha, where a is 0 meters per second squared, and the vertical velocity will be 10 sine alpha, but then we have to take away the acceleration acting on that, which is 9.8 in the opposite direction, so it's going to be minus 9.8 times t. For position, we use s is equal to ut plus a half a t squared, x will be 10 t cos alpha, again there's no acceleration acting in the horizontal position component, and for the vertical component it's going to be 10 t sine beta ut minus half of gravity, which is a half of 9.8, which is minus 4.9, minus because it's acting downwards, t squared. Label off the equation 1, 2, 3, and 4. At the maximum height, of the path v y is equal to zero meters per second. From number two, this equation here, we've got 10 sine alpha minus 9.8 t is equal to zero. 9.8 t is equal to 10 sine alpha. t is going to be 10 sine alpha divided by 9.8. The vertical height is four meters. If we substitute t is equal to 10 sine alpha over 9.8 into equation four, which is this one, y is equal to 10t sine alpha minus 4.9t squared. So instead of t, we're now going to get 10 sine alpha over 9.8 sine alpha minus 4.9 times 10 sine alpha over 9.8 all squared. And that has to be equal to the height of the ceiling. 10 times 10 is 100. So we've got 100 sine squared alpha sine times sine over 9.8. 10 squared is 100 times 4.9 is 490 sine squared, and 9.8 squared is 96.04, which is equal to 4. Now, using the fraction button on my calculator, I did 10 over 9.8 minus 490 over 96.4 blocks of sine alpha. That gives me 5.1020 times sine of alpha squared is equal to 4. Therefore, sine alpha will be the square root of 4 over 5.1020. So alpha sine to minus 1 of that, which is 62.305 degrees. So right, using velocity, velocity is v of uh, so writing down the uh, equation of motion again so we can see them and also drawing the graph, okay. At this particular point here, because we have to find the range, the uh, y component of the position will be equal to zero. So from equation four, we're going to have that 10t sine 62.305 minus 4.9t squared is equal to zero. So taking out a common factor of t, so we get 10 sine 62.305 degrees minus 4.9t is equal to 0. t is equal to 0, well that's the starting point here, so we knew, knew uh, that y would be 0 there. Or 10 sine 62.305 minus 4.9t is equal to 0. 
Solving that, we get 4.9t is equal to 10 sine 62.305. T will be 10 sine 62.305 divided by 4.9. If we now substitute that into equation 3, so it's going to be the range will be 10 times t, which is 10 sine 62.305 divided by 4.9, times cos 62.309 which gives me 8.398 metres, which gives me 8.40 metres.